Welcome back everyone. Happy New Year. Welcome to 2024. Today we're going to be working with a new collection that you haven't seen on my channel yet called Gnomes for Winter. And I pulled out a couple of the pieces that we're going to be using. This is the Daisy, um, Daisy White. This is one of the decorative papers. And here we have all right, I'll get it. Sapphire. <laughs> and then I'm going to show you how to make this little guy. I was having fun with him the other night, um, making some paper piecing. I just love to do that. So there you go. And I did some shading on here, and I did some roughing up on the edges of his beard, changed out his little ice skates. So we're going to go over that, and um, let's get started. Roll. All right, so I was able to get these uh, backer pieces done and I've gutted the blue and the decorative paper here in the back. And by gutting, I just mean um, taking out the center section so I can save the paper. So this is a whole section I have left, which will be great for other pages. And then just make sure when you cut your decorative paper, they all have what are called the zip strips on them. This is where you'll find the colors. Let's see if I can put that up there. This is where you find the colors of everything that's in this particular cut, um, collection. Again, it's called Gnomes for Winter. So make sure to save those someplace safe if you're not gonna use them right away. And then I used our trusty ruler here, um, T ruler, to make sure everything was squared up. So that's really important to have. Now I wanna lay out some of these other pieces. And I'm thinking I want this down here, around here. We'll see, we'll lay this out and see what happens. And then if I come down by two, then I wanna come by two here. But I think I only want these colors to come over to the white. So I might like this as opposed to this. I think I like that better. So I'm going to have to trim those down. These are the pictures I'm going to do. <laughs> Please excuse the little circle, but I promised um, these family members that I would keep their pictures uh, off the Internet. So I'm just going to I wanted to show you the picture, though, to show you the snow and the greenery so you know where some of the colors are that I'm pulling from. And I've gone ahead and um, I have matted these in the pine paper and then, I think this is jade, excuse me, and um, another portion of the decorative paper. So I think this picture will be going up in here. And I think I want little mist down here. And let me see what else I have going on over here. I think I want him, although we're going to make a new one. I think I want him in there. I have a bunch of other little things over here. Let me see. Excuse the ruffling of the bag over here. That's how I keep all the little pieces together. Let's see what we have here. I'll put them over here. I think you can still see those. I have the little pieces to the gnome ready to go here off the side that I'm going to work with you on. So I think I want to give this little guy... Yeah, I like that. It's cute. Um... I'm thinking I want to do some of these up in here. I was thinking about using this. I'm just not sure where. It's um, an acrylic piece. It's not off of this set. The snowflakes do come with this workshop. Um, if there's any pieces to this workshop still available, I will lick, that, lick them. <laughs> I will list them below. Um... How about some down in this area? Let's see. 
do a little smaller one. That works. I thought about putting this down here, but I seem to be missing a couple pieces. Let me see what I've got over here. Huh. Bear with me, I had some pieces stick together. I thought I had enough. I had taken the sticky off of these, but obviously not enough. I'm trying to pull them apart without hurting them. These are little banners, and I thought about putting the date. And I like to put the names of the people in the photo and how old they are. So when you look back, you'll know. I think I might ink this up with some sapphire ink on the sides. I think about putting that down there. I wonder if I could put a little small snowflake. That might work, especially if I ink that up. So still I have this camera hanging out. I wonder if I should have him holding the camera. I don't know. I think that's kind of cute. I like that. I think I'll use it there. So let me get some of these pieces glued down. And I will come back to you and we'll walk through our little gnome together. Um, it's quite a few steps. So let me glue this down and I'll be right back with you. I'm going to back, get some of my things out of the way here. Um, I've gone ahead and I've taped down the pieces I wanted to tape down. I'm gonna, we're going to start working on our Mr. Gnome over here. I mean, that's where he'll go. So let me move all of this aside for a moment. And let's get out our pieces. This is fairly easy. It's just time consuming. We just don't need that piece. Um, let's do the green again. Actually, let's do the blue. So what's gonna happen if we were just doing it the easy way? Let me find his beard. So this is his little nose. Get my hands out of the way. And his beard, you know, can come up as high as you want or as low as you want. Um, if you look at the picture, um, it looks like it comes down and it covers a little lower down. I think I put mine up a little higher. So that's where that would go. Now I've gone ahead, excuse me for a moment. I went ahead and um, on his body, what I've done is I cut his shoes out. On that one, they were blue. These I'm going to make green. And then what I did is I had some silver foil paper and I ran those through my die cutting machine and I just took off the blades right here. So if I can show you this, I should come in a little closer while I'm doing this. Let's do that. Let's see if I can get you closer. Sorry guys, moving you around a little here. Okay, so I've gone ahead and I've cut off the silver here. So I will mount the green skates and then I will put cut off the blades in the post and put those there to resemble what I've done with this one. Okay, so let me get this started. I'm gonna ink everything up first before I start cutting. And... So we're going to this time, we're going to have a blue body area. Um, we've got a little bit of, okay, this this is Ballerina that I used for his skin tones. 
Um, this was the lightest pink that I think I had in stock here, and I think it is the lightest pink in the collection. Let me get my um, eraser, my gummy eraser out. I don't think you'll see this, but it's going to bother me because it can make some of the pieces not easy to um, scoot around when we glue them on. Okay, so we are going to take Flamingo and we are going to ink up Flamingo. And I'm gonna use this brush first. And we're just gonna ink up, mainly the only things that you really need to ink up, and on this one you may not even need to do it, but because I'm gonna have the camera if we use this guy, but I'm gonna ink them up. And then I would take his nose. I tell you that nose just keeps running away from me. You guys see him? Here it is, ha, found your nose. Oh, gotta grab him. So hopefully you can see this. I'm just going to ink up the sides just a little. And again, I'm using the Flamingo ink. Let me just give him a little bit of a rosier nose. All right, so he is done. So now I'm gonna take my blue guy and actually the green guy. No, we're gonna take the blue guy. Sorry, I'm just trying to keep this straight here. Okay. We have the sapphire ink, and I'm just gonna darken up the edges. I'm sorry, let me get this on camera. So these are gonna be his sleeves. So I'm just gonna ink it up. So there's just a little bit of definition on the sides. And also our paper, let me go down and just kinda do this down here. Especially the darker papers, when they cut, because we have a white core in our papers, I really don't want that to catch your eye. I just kind of want it to fade to the background. So, and then here on the sleeves, I do want a little bit more of the darker color on the sides. It just helps. Let me finish getting the white here on the bottom of his beard. Okay, I think that'll work. So again, that was Sapphire ink that I used. Stick this to the side. Then we're gonna come in and we're going to do some shading on his beard. And I wanna, let me put these aside. I wanna get out something else to do that with. Over here in my drawer, getting out some tools. Here are my finger daubers. It's never an easy one to open. And we're going to get out another curved little here. All right, let me, I was working on this last night, I had ink everywhere, so I'm trying to avoid getting ink on my fingers. When doing videos, it doesn't look so good. Okay, we've got some clean ink or uppers here. So first what I'm going to do is I'm going to take myself over to my drawer and get my craft mat and get that out so we have linen which is a very very light light ink and I just wanted to add some color to his beard get you in frame here I may even need to re-ink this. Just 
just has some definition on it. Then let's go in with this little guy. And you can barely see it. It's just probably easier for me in person. Just gives a little shadow. Okay. And then we've got his beard. And um, sometimes when you're making your die cuts, see if I can get you in here. You can kind of notice that there's a front and a back. The back kind of has a raised up point. You'll know when you do it. Just make sure that when you're inking these up that you're doing it on the right side. I guess you could say it just kind of dirties up this white a little. Okay. So now what we're going to do now I have this tool from Tim Holtz which just kind of roughs things up on the edges. <laughs> I think I already did a little here. I just want it to look like his beard is kind of um, roughed up a little and that's kind of bushy. So taking this and um, roughing up my edges. And I'm going to do the same thing with his beard. I don't know about you guys, but we're in the state of Washington and we're expecting snow this week. And seeing as how we just moved here from Nevada, I'm really excited about it. And the snow here, I understand, only lasts a day or two and then it's gone. So it sounds like the best of the both worlds, best of both worlds. And then today, it's actually really warm out and beautiful, but not a cloud in the sky. Today being New Year's Eve. Okay, so we've got those pieces done. And let's take a minute and cut these little tiny pieces. Okay, these again are my favorite scissors for doing um, little detailed cuts. These scissors are from Cutterby, or that's the name of them. Okay, so we've got that off. I've got that off. Now not to lose the pieces. All right, I've got my liquid glue out. I'm gonna use a scrap piece of paper. I'm pretty sure, oh, it still works. Last night I was playing with my inks and I didn't put the lid on quick enough and I thought for sure I was gonna have an issue. So I'm gonna get this ready to go real quick. I put this on my reverse tweezers, which are a godsend when you're working with really small stuff. I'm bringing it in even more so you guys can see what I'm doing here. Just some small dots of glue. And then very carefully, the liquid glue gives you a little bit of wiggle room. Okay, I think that's good for that skate. Let's come into this skate. The double tweezers again. Let's get this down. You don't need much glue on this. In fact, I probably put a little too much, but I think it'll work out. Okay, so we have our skates. So the next thing we want to do is we want to cut, what do we want to cut first? We want to cut the blue because he's going to have, no, the blue is his body. So we're going to cut the green. Yeah, that's it. I have to make sure. 
So again, with your detailed scissors, what you're gonna do is come in here, there's little dotted lines here, like little, they're a little bit more than score lines. Cut on those lines and try and cut either to the top or bottom of those lines because we're gonna come back and cut off the other side so you don't see all the ups and downs, if you could see. There's little tiny lines in there. We're not gonna wanna see those when we layer them up. So you can see right here, on this piece right here, I'm gonna cut that off. Okay. And I'm gonna come in here and cut this one off. Okay, we don't need the rest of that body now. Let me see if I can come in here and get the rest of this off. I'm gonna let you guys go off camera while I finish this up. All right, so what I've done now is I've come in and I've inked up with the evergreen, excuse me, I believe it is evergreen. Yes, evergreen ink on all of the sides of the pieces of the hat that I've cut apart. So let's try and start putting this together. Let me wipe off my hands real quick. I think, I, well, I know <laughs> I got ink everywhere. So, you know what? I forgot to do one thing while I have all this ink out. Let me do the sapphire again on this piece right here. Yeah, that's gonna help this stand out a little. Okay, set that off to the side to uh, get dried up before we ink that down. So, time to put these pieces together. So, first we're going to put down his body. Just make sure we're good. And I should mention too, all of these card stocks that I'm using are double-sided. So, please make sure, you know, that you're using the side that you want whenever you're cutting out like pieces. So your greens, you wanna cut all on the same side of your, your blues, especially if you're wanting the gnomes to match up. So, and again, I'm using liquid ink, ink, goodness, Susan, using liquid glue. So I have some wiggle room and I try and really ink up the edges really well. Okay, let's put him down. Scoot him just a cinch here. Okay, I like the way that looks. Let's get his ice skates on. I don't know why I'm saying him, just assuming. Okay. Ink these up. Why do I keep saying ink? Glue them up. That looks cute, I love it. I love that little bit of silver in there. I don't know if I mentioned or not, but that silver is something that I've had in my stash for years. I use it on some of the Christmas cards that I made a couple weeks ago too. We have a silver with close to my heart, but it's a glitter silver. And I wanted something a little bit more matte for these. Okay, let's do some beard work. Okay, so we know we want this to go in here like this. So let's get him glued up. Definitely wanna catch those the edges so they don't pop up. Okay. Here we go. 
He's starting to come to life. Pretty soon he'll be ice skating before we know it. Somehow I got something on his beard. I may have to go in and fix that a little bit later before I post pictures. Okay, now we've got, again, his mustache, but we also have his nose. So I wanna make sure, I'll put down the nose first. Let me put it on with my reverse tweezers, be a better idea. And the only paper that I didn't use the darker side of was this ballerina because I wanted um, the flesh of the skin to be as light as possible. Okay, let's move him over just a hair while he's still wet. Okay. Now for the beard. Get some on the tips. And kind of play around with this to see where you want it. Um, I think I want it to tilt just a little. Uh-oh, there we go. Now, these pieces. Because he's blue on blue here, I wanna make the tip of his hat green. So we'll ink this one up and make sure that I'm using the right side. So I want it to be, especially on these pieces, you wanna be really careful that all your tones match. So let's see. So there's the one piece. Let's see what we can get here. The next smallest piece without going with the very smallest one there. It's going to be that piece. Oops, oh goodness. This little guy might have to be uh, not making it to the scrapbook, we'll see. Okay, then our next piece. That glue will actually dry clear, so we should be okay. All right, so we had some more issues. <laughs> so just know when you're, like the one I just made that I had errors on, if you're doing this, you want, if you're doing your first color here and you're doing your cut pieces here, you're going to want to put your beard on last. All right, so we're going back to our original gnome. And I actually think I like that better because of, the green hitting here on the blue. Yeah, I like that better. So let's get him glued down. And I'm thinking I'm gonna put him up on some, some 3D foam squares. Let me grab those real quick. There we go, kind of see what I'm doing. So I just finished doing a catalog walkthrough. I'm hoping you all had a chance to look at it. Um, when this video goes live, that catalog will be available. And I'm very excited about it. I've ordered a lot of product from the catalog to share with all of you. And I think, you know, I thought of pictures that I have in my stash um, that I've been wanting to record and document forever. So, um, Hopefully you'll have a chance to look at that. And in case I haven't mentioned, and I don't think I have, my husband and I have another channel, the two of us, 
because of all of our travels and we kind of tell the story of our last year in the video that will either be posted um, the same day as this or the day after. So you can kind of get to meet my husband too and you can figure out why we have so many pictures. <laughs> um, up until this last year, we were we were on the road or in a plane going somewhere. So I have so many things to document. And it's very, very important to me that they do get documented um, for various reasons. Mainly the fact that I was adopted and when I'm no longer here on this earth, I'll be in heaven, but I want to make sure that uh, there is some history left for my children and some, you know, documentation of me. Um, so they have some history to look back on. Very, very important. Okay, so we need to glue down to this guy's camera. So these are the best ways of doing that. These are little glue dots and they're real gummy and you just press on the back of what you want attached. And if you wanna make them smaller like this, just you know roll them up in a ball. I'm gonna put this in the back of the lens. Well, let me, okay, that looks good. I'm gonna put one more on the lens here. And kinda of roll that up. And then he will be here and I'll have a little bit of elevation to it too. So he's out taking pictures for me. So there's that. This here, which will have my date and the picture, names of the people in the picture and their ages, that will go down there. And if I don't have enough room there, um, I may move this up farther and do some documenting down here. So that will be in the still shots following this video. So. Um, there you go. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask. I'd look forward to, or I do look forward to seeing any of your comments down below. And remember, through the month of January, I will be taking all the comments and putting them in a bowl and pulling out a free um, stamp and thin cut to send to someone. So if you could just...